Hello and welcome. Please pause the video and try this on your own and then press play when you're ready to talk about it. Okay, so here we're trying to solve for y, so I'm going to begin to kind of mess around with this and see what I can do. First we've got y minus 3 squared, right, so I want to take care of that. That's y minus 3 times itself. So I'm just rewriting it first. Then I use my distributive property. y times y is y squared. y times negative 3 is negative 3y. Then negative 3 times y is negative 3y. And negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Right, so you have just rewriting this. So now y squared equals, well, negative 3y and negative 3y is negative 6y plus 9 equals 4y minus 12. So now what am I going to do? Well, now um, I'm going to subtract 4y from both sides and add 12 to both sides. We'll kind of bring everything over to one side. And this gives me 0 on the right-hand side. That's okay. We have y squared minus 10y, right? Negative 6 and negative 4 is negative 10, and then plus 21. All right, so here we get y squared minus 10y and plus 21. So um, I can factor this into y minus 3 and y minus 7. How do I know that? Well, because negative 3 times negative 7 is positive 21, and negative 3 plus negative 7 is negative 10. And um, so the product of these two things needs to equal 0. That means either y minus 3 would have to equal 0, because 0 times anything is 0. So that's the first scenario. Second scenario is that y minus 7 would equal 0. And if I solve for y in both cases, here y would be 3, and here y would be 7. So those are two values that work for this equation. And if we just go back, 3 and 7, you can plug them in here and see that they do balance the equation. All right, hope this helped.